guys welcome back to another video with me crafting with eb we're doing another cricut mug project to help you guys out this is the mug with infusible ink and infusible ink pens so we were using both once we get into design space you're going to go under mug design setup you're going to pick out the one that you want make sure you look at the ounce of mug that you're using pick that correct one and then hit customize once it takes you to the canvas, if you have something up there, just hit replace and it will automatically replace the item that's in your design space. Then that is a template to tell you how to place it on your mug. Uh, you're going to make sure it's small eyes <laughs> so it, you can see the designs. Now you're going to figure out what you want on your mug. Of course, you want to make sure you press um, draw. Uh, images that are drawn so you're using the pen and not it having it cut out so the best thing to do I decided to do a bee and sunflower and I saw this cute design before and I decided to go with it you're gonna lower it to the size that you want and make sure that line comes up so it tells you that it's actually in there correctly make sure you use the correct pen um, and make sure you mirror the images before you cut the uh, cut it out or draw it on to the product. So right now I'm pulling the sheet out. Remember it comes in this black bag. If you do have the extra sheet, make sure you put it back in the black bag. I usually turn mine upside down and put that back in and shut, shut it all back up again. Now when you layer it down, make sure the ink side is up. And make sure you are pressing firmly. This is a 4.5 by 12 inch mat. Now, once you get it all set up, you're going to hit next. Make sure you have that mirror on. Then you're going to connect to your machine. Then you're going to load the pen in first. But also you're going to make sure you write type in <laughs> right there. It showed me that you put in what item you're using. And this is infusible ink sheets. Now, of course, the joy always measures, and now it's going to draw your item. This does take a little bit of time, and I'd like to thank you guys all for watching my videos. Um, if you haven't yet, please hit that like button and the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can get notifications when I post videos. And I do them every Monday and Thursday. I like to try to do some Cricut videos, try to help you guys if you have any questions Feel free to ask, leave them in the comments below. I will try to answer them as best as possible. There are other, plenty other people to watch as well. But I thought this was pretty helpful because I found out myself that you can use infusible ink pens on top of infusible ink sheets. I was very surprised and I was like, oh, let me do a video on it. <laughs> So once it's done drawing both of your items, you're, it's going to ask you to put the blade back in there and then it's going to cut out the rest of the design. Now, depending on how dull your blade is, you can actually sharpen it up by using some tin foil to help it out a little bit longer. Um, I forgot to put in more pressure, so I noticed when I was taking it off the mat that it didn't cut all the way through like it should have. So make sure you use more pressure because it helps unless you have a newer blade put in. Uh, because the fact is uh, you wanna make sure it comes all off and I did have a problem. I had to use a pair of scissors and you will see that later on in this video uh, to cut out the outer part away from it. And I had a boo-boo and you will see it at the end when I take the sheet off my bug that there was something left down there and yeah part of the design did not attach to the but it's very small so and this is my mug I'm not selling it I'm not giving away there is no way to correct it if that happens now the best thing to do is you would have to redo the whole thing over again if you were giving this away as a present or as uh, if you're selling. Now everybody keeps asking me like how much do I sell mugs for because I do sell mugs I do make things 
Um, so what I like to do is I sell mine per whatever ounce it is. So yeah, <laughs> make sure you put your plastic back onto your mug. So it, onto the, excuse me, onto your cutting mat. So it does not, uh, release the stickiness from the mat. And as you can see, see how it didn't cut it all the way through. So yeah, <laughs> I had to cut it out as bestly as possible. So you're going to take the mug and you're going to inspect it like always. And then it does tell you the ounce underneath there. And if this does not stick, you can always use heat resistant tape, which is the blue tape that Cricut sells or any heat resistant tape that you can find. I have mine actually in a tape dispenser and it actually does very help when you have multiple orders. Now this is the Cricut mug press. What you're going to do is let it heat up and when you first turn it on, it's going to take up time, a few moments to actually come up to temperature. Once that light turns from orange to green like it is there, you're going to place your mug in. Make sure your mug, the design, is completely covered when you're pressing down or it's not gonna adhere to the whole thing. Once it starts going and you have to wait for all those lights to light up, you're gonna have to use a heat resistant mat to when you take it out, that it'll be okay for you to take it from the inside of the heat press to your mat. And you've gotta let it fully cool before taking the paper off. Now, remember, this is extremely hot. This gets up to 400 degrees, which it takes it and it releases as a gas and it adheres to the mug. So here I am releasing the final design so I can show you. This is when I saw that it kind of messed up a little bit. As you can see, there's a little bit of the plastic that adhered to the mug, the inside of the design, which accidents happen and i'm glad i'm keeping the product myself so the lighter the paper is the better it is so as you can see there's the little bit of mess up so i'd like to thank you very much for watching i hope this video is very helpful and i hope to see you in the next video thank you take care and be safe bye guys